Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. And this video is part two of the uh, the st of the star Thomas childhood friend to Leatherface obsession story. Okay, and they are going to be doing part two, which is a week after you became friends with Thomas, and how it's going since then. So let's get on to it. Also, disclaimer first. Disclaimer, this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. All slashers are not ideal characters to have as partners in real life. Also, Thomas Hewitt is not yonder in canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. All simping for fictional characters, slashers, and yonderies is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. You know who you are, you dirty, flaky biscuits. And all that stuff. And separate yonderies from... And Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Neither are slashers. This is fiction. It's okay to have simp for fictional characters as long as it's legal and not real life characters. And you separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon. Now let's get on to it. You woke up early. It was Saturday and it's been a week since a little bit over a week since you and Thomas have became friends. Your mama said that you could go over to see Thomas today and you had plans to have fun with Thomas and play in the fields around his house. Also, you wanted to get started on that project that you guys were given in school. You rush out of your home and run and run to the car where the driver was waiting. The driver had packed you a picnic as your, his mother, as your mother, sorry, tongue twister, as your mother had instructed him to do. You smile and we're ready to have fun with Thomas. You rush out with the picnic basket and your school bag and run to Thomas' front door where you knock on it. Luda May opened the door and smiled at you. Hey there, sugar, she says, and rubs the top of your head. Thomas is just getting, down, uh, just getting downstairs. He should be here. Thomas was right up behind his mother after that. And you smile. Hey, Thomas, you say happily looking at him, grinning from ear to ear. My mama had my driver make us a picnic so we can have lunch together, you tell him. He nodded eagerly and looked at his mama if that was okay. Of course it's okay, sugar. I'll just save you some stuff for our extra dinner, she says and rubs his head. He smiles and you two race out to the field and pick a place to sit and do your homework and also do your schoolwork. It was near, not too far out. It was hardly out of the property. And you guys could sit on the swing and swing together or play on the tire swing. There was many options. You set out the blanket with Thomas and then put down the basket of food so it wouldn't get ruined. And then you both started to go over the work. You took your time with Thomas and he was very happy. He was slowly starting to understand more. And he even started to speak a few couple of words. His first word being mama and the other one being your name. Your name, he says, struggling a bit with it still. And you smile at him. Thank you, Thomas, he, you say as he handed you some lemonade that his mama brought out, uh, brought out for him just a few minutes ago, and you take a sip. It was sweet, good lemonade, and you loved it. So, Thomas, uh, what are you going to be doing this summer, you ask? It was almost the end of the school year since you were transferred at the end of the school year, and Thomas was not doing good, but you were hoping that you could still help him out. Sorry if I messed with the timeline. I completely forgot, to be honest. Well, Thomas was excited to have the summer vacation with you, and he made hand gestures pointing at you and him and making other hand gestures to express how he felt. He nodded your head. That sounds great. We can definitely do all those things this summer. We can go down to the lake. We can have fun playing in the farms. We can go into town. He frowned at the into town, and you stopped. Do you not want to go into town, you ask him, a bit worried looking at him? He shakes his head no, and then you nodded. Okay, we don't have to do that this summer. We can always branch out later, but I just want us to have fun this summer, okay? You tell him, and he nods his head. Yes, he says, and you smile. You kiss his cheek once more. You were really getting into that because he was just the sweetest and most kind boy that you ever had met, and you did it in an innocent way. But whenever you did did it, Thomas felt flustered and embarrassed. He didn't think it was cooties like a lot of people said it was, but he knew that was you just being kind and being genuinely friendly with him. And it made him feel special that you would do it 
when no one else would even think of doing it. Except for his mama, of course. That's what made you special. You were a lot like his mama, but also so different. And he felt a different way about you than he did about his mama. Maybe it was because you were his only friend, but he did not want to share you. So the idea of going into town left a bitter taste in his mouth. You guys then have lunch and you pulled out some nice fried chicken as the chef uh, this was leftovers and stuff. And some green beans and uh, other greens as well. You smile at him and you both dug in. Thomas had never had food this good. His mama's food was good, but this was upper level. Like something about it was so different from his mama's cooking. He still preferred his mama's cooking because he's a good boy, but he did not know what it was, but he loved that to be treated special. And with you, he was treated special. And it was not because you were pitying him. It's because you were having fun with him. He wipes his mouth with his sleeve and you laugh and kiss his cheek again. Uh, and you guys continued having a good time. He pushed you on the tire swing, and you went farther and farther in the air, squealing happiness, and he felt warm with it, at, with warm in his sides and his insides, that he was making you happy. He would always make you happy. You will always be his best friend, and he will never lose you as a friend. And that's how the day went. Soon the driver came, and it was time to go, and you packed up the picnic stuff with him, hugged Thomas, kissed him on his cheek. The driver made a face at Thomas, but you glared at him and kicked him in the shin. Be nice, you say to him, and he scoffs at you and shoves you into the car. Thomas didn't like how rough he was with you, but his mama held him back and he shook her head. He huffs and goes inside. He was not happy with that, not at all. And he goes up to his room thinking of bashing the skull of that driver into the with the car door over and over and then saving you and taking you upstairs so you guys could be happy in the play tent that he had in his room. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. We're seeing a little bit of Thomas's darker side with seeing you getting shoved into a car. It wasn't in a mean way. It was just like, okay, kids, stop. You kicked me in the shin. I'm not, I'm not going to tell your parents, but get in the car. I don't want to deal with this type of situation. But to Thomas, it felt like that man hurt you. And that made him, as a yonder, very angry. We're going to see Thomas slowly become more and more unhinged as time goes on. And that is the little start of it. Anyways, again, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more of this, comment below what you would like to see in it. Like if you want to see scenarios like their first school dance or... The first time they kissed on the lips, when they're older, of course, not younger. Ew, gross. But first crush things and them developing a relationship as time goes on. If you wanted to see that those uh, little scenarios and stuff, comment below what stuff you want to see, and I will do my best to do it. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed, and now Patreon outro. Thank you, Gav, for being my first patron and my only patron as of right now, unless Wicked has joined. If not, I'm sorry, Wicked. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. Uh, thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. I have, sorry, my brain died. I appreciate you, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Thank you, Gav. And yeah, thank you, Gav. Anyways, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Again, like, comment, subscribe, so you can do all that, so you can be notified when more of this series comes out. And stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye bye. Dee 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 Secret outro time. Secret outro time. Secret 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 outro time. Secret outro. Secret outro. Secret outro with baseball bat. Welcome to the secret outro. And the secret outro question of the day is: If you were with Thomas, and for the day as kids, you were a kid, he's a kid. Would you would have loved playing on the tire swing or would if you wanted to sit on the slow porch swing and rock on it next to him while you re read together? Comment below what you would prefer. I would love a bit of both personally because I am a selfish a wiki bee. I am a selfish biscuit. You all know that. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye bye.